Welcome everybody, you're watching Mr. Fugu Data Science. Today we want to look at duplicate data frame column names. I'm going to show you what we're dealing with, what you should avoid, and a solution of how I fixed it. Let's get into this. It's a short video. Here's my socials. Feel free to hit me up. All the code will be in the link in the description below as well as in the comments section, both areas, whatever suits you. I have affiliate links you can feel free to check out as well as different ways of helping support the channel such as super thanks memberships or buy me a coffee. Let's go. Since this is a short video, I'm going to code this out for you, okay? We need pandas, numpy, I think we need numpy, and collections. Let's look at what the data are, because I can't remember. Oh, it's some sales data that we're dealing with. Let's look at the column names since those are of utmost importance today. So, this particular column is one that was an issue for me doing some database work. So I renamed it with the outermost portion of the JSON nesting and did an underscore for the portion that was held with inside of it to help with the naming issues. Since we know that this is the problem we're dealing with, we're going to take this and artificially recreate it so it's like this again so we have the duplicates so I can show you what's up. First, if you're doing this and you weren't sure or you were wanting to look for duplicate values, you would have to do something similar to what I'm going to show you now. To find the location, if you wanted to get a specific column location, you would run something like this. We know that our problem child is in number 40 now. So I want to change this by setting this variable to rename our column where column that we're trying to update the name for position 40 and we want to name it as the same as before we're at number 40 let's rename and let's get our column and here we are so now it's artificially updated now let's play around with this and fix it the online solution would tell us to do this we would be told to rename this column so let's rename this column we're going to take this and modify it slightly so let's take the updated portion that we had before and see if this works. And then we're going to print this off so we know that this may work or may not work. Oh, oh no, oh no, what happened? Our position two changed and was updated. Ah, oh, drats, and now we got this one. Well, that's kind of pointless. What just happened? We were updating the column names, but because they were the same here, we had an issue and it updates both. Well, what's the workaround I could do real quick to fix this? Because this sounds like it's kind of useless. Was my workaround to fix this? Well, let's do a list comprehension real quick. And we are going to count the number of occurrences that we have for our variables using the counter from collections. And we're taking all the column names of parse and we're counting it if anything is greater than one. And we need to do dot values here and store this as a list. Items, not values. And we find that this count is doubled. We already know this, but this is a self check for you if you're in the future trying to find out how to evaluate this for your data. Now we're going to iterate and we're going to create a tuple where we're finding the index value for our little columns. And we need to create an if statement to handle if the item is in the particular column that's printed out the index position. Hopefully it did that right. Number 40. So we're on the right track. Now let's do our workaround fix. And what do we want to change? We want to change two. Do we want to change 40? Let's change number two. And let's get the name we want to change it to, which would just be this. Then let's print out the column names. Make sure it's adjusted. Now we're good to go. Let's check the other one. Position 40 is intact. And that's the workaround to change the duplicate column name versus the advertised listing you see on Stack Overflow and Pandas documentation, which is highly annoying. But that would be the conclusion of this video. So please like, share, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, turn on that notification bell. Feel free to hit me up on my socials here. Don't forget, I have affiliate links for Amazon as well as ways to help support the channel. Buy me a coffee, super thanks, and channel members. 
memberships. I have a Patreon, but I haven't used it in a very long time. Throw any comments or suggestions for future videos down below. I can't wait to hear from you. See you in the next video. Bye. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead of everything you know that you could get. Don't let them guide your life towards regret. I'll fight.